Our series, Changing the Game, profiles extraordinary women who are making a difference now and for future generations. This morning, we're introducing you to a Virginia teenager bringing new attention to women who are often left out of the history books. The high schooler developed her own curriculum for elementary and middle school students to recognize the accomplishments of women with an emphasis on women of color. Nicole Killian shows us how she did it. Prasida Padmanabhan is leading a modern day crusade to rewrite the history books. So some of these are really easy, some of them are not. So. In one of the country's largest school districts. The 17 year old is creating an entire course of study for elementary and middle school students in Fairfax County, Virginia. What motivated you to develop this curriculum? Honestly, I think it was just my own experience with the lack of education around women's history. I felt like especially women of color were often just, um, their stories would go untold. I am a first generation Indian and my mom's an Indian immigrant. And so I think growing up hearing her stories has always been something that I have taken and wanted to learn more about and always been inspired by. She founded a group called WARE, Women for Education, Advocacy and Rights. The organization launched a petition last year to integrate more women's history in their local schools. It comes amid a heated debate over public education curriculums in Virginia. Earlier this year, Republican Governor Glenn Youngkin signed an executive order banning public educational programs that he claims are inherently divisive, like critical race theory. What do you say to any parents out there or students who feel, why am I learning this? Why should I have to learn this? I think that, you know, if we disregard what really happened in our history, then we're not getting the full picture and we're not going to be informed citizens going forward. When you first read her proposal, what did you think? I thought, I need to meet this person. <laughs> Priscilla's efforts caught the attention of Dr. Deborah March, an education specialist who connected her with Fairfax County teachers. If you just look at curriculum standards and notice who gets to be an individual with a name and a biography and who is identified as a group, women during the Civil War, right? Um, and so Priscilla really helped us lift up the individual stories and contributions of women. From the Revolutionary War. We all know Paul Revere was the man who said that the British are coming. But Sybil Ludington was a 16-year-old girl who rode horseback overnight to deliver the same exact message. To the Civil War. Susie King Taylor, who was a nurse during the Civil War. And civil rights. Claudette Colvin started the Montgomery bus boycotts. She actually started it nine months before Rosa Parks. We're going to use some resources that Ware has created. Created Each lesson is crafted as a presentation to spark discussions about game-changing female figures. She was born to a free black family in the North. So. Julie Carrill teaches sixth grade American history. Even you were saying, this is a lesson for you as well. We featured five different women in the lesson today, and I had never heard of any of them. A learning experience for teacher and students. It means that maybe I can do something important. I think that they should be taught all year round. If we learned more about this, who knows how many more women we would acknowledge and know. What is your ultimate goal? My ultimate goal is that every student across Virginia and across the country just learns equally about women. I don't ever want a student to ask the question, why does women's history matter? I want people to just know that I want women's history to be history and I want that to be a concept that every student learns and understands. For CBS Mornings, Nicole Killian, Washington. I think this is so powerful, you know, for the simple fact that our education growing up depends on the schools we're in. Mm -hmm. And then once we get to college, it's tailored towards the degrees that we're pursuing. Yeah. So there's gaps that we all have. And I think this young lady said, you know what, we can change that. We can open up our curriculum and really highlight some of these women that we are not learning about. Yeah, yeah. I think the children of today, they have Google right there. Mm. They have YouTube. They can look up documentaries. Or they, it seems like they are seeking out that information yeah. um, to see a young woman like uh, Priscilla do that. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's encouraging. Yeah, I love it. She she studied about women that have made an impact, and then she became one. Yeah, she oh, yeah. Awesome. look at that. Full All circle. Right.